Jayaha, welcome, good morning. Still in the beautiful Bali, enjoying the bliss of this early morning sunshine. Let me set up the a few settings here. Back in a second. Okay, Jaya, welcome again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about fire. You know, the idea that <clears throat> we've got different mindsets or different energies or different elements in our system. You see that I use a lot of red around me. And the reason why I use red is because colors are frequencies, right? They are going to impact on us. So for instance, if I have lots of blue, it's going to remind me of the element water and bringing in a flow of, you know, tenderness and softness. And when I use red, it simply brings an element of, you know, intensity and fire in my system and around me and in the people I connect with. So the idea is to design consciously the environments that you live in, the conscious, the to design consciously the energetic states that you are in. And what I was doing here this morning is um, putting some calligraphies here on my temple. Um, yeah. There are a few things to understand about, about this. The first thing, it is that when you... Um, instruct your personal environment in very conscious ways to reflect a certain vibration or a certain frequency, right? You are designing a sacred space and you are doing that consciously. So this is what I'm doing here. It's the moment I'm starting to write things on, on my walls, what happens is that the temple space is being activated. And in that case, those are very secret words or secret mantras. They are clear, very precise instructions about qualities that I want to manifest in my life and for the people who come to visit this place. So I'm activating this energy, I'm activating this vibration in very conscious ways, okay? And, um, you know, for instance, the word that I use here is satyama, satyayama, truth mastery. And I give it a fire vibration, a fire frequency. If I, was black, if I was writing it in black, it would be a different vibration or a different frequency. So this is the idea. Um, it's to be able to consciously instruct your environment in ways that is going to have an impact you know, a positive impact on your life. If you look around, also behind me here, you have lots of mantras, right? If you haven't been to my temple here, Vital Gate, you know, this is what I do a lot. I'm simply designing the energetic space around me so that it reflects a certain vibration or a certain frequency. So there are lots of things that you can put on your walls. But what you have to understand is that Every object or every intention, everything that is in your personal space or personal environment is going to reflect something to you. It's going to reflect a certain frequency or a certain vibration and uh, therefore you can consciously, consciously design, you know, consciously design energetic environments. And this is why, you know, 
why we create these temples, why we create these sacred spaces. Something also to understand is that in uh, the codes that I'm anchoring here, for instance, when you see the, the red over here on the walls, you know, what I've been putting on this morning, and also, for instance, what you see on my face here on my body, there are, there are a couple of aspects to it. The first one is the fact that it's a transmission, it's an activation of a certain energy, okay? It's like the moment you have it on your body, you are creating a, a gateway of energy within, between a certain quality and yourself, or between a certain quality and your temple. So you are activating this energy, you are activating this flow, okay? So that's one aspect. Another one is that by doing that, you're also communicating with other human beings. It means that right now, you are seeing a certain vibration or a certain frequency on my forehead, and this is impacting you. It's creating an energetic resonance with you. So we are creating a gateway also between you and I. And your perception of this is going to be multidimensional as well. For instance, you can look at it and you can see the colors, you can see the vibration, you can see the frequency, and you can also see the, maybe the aesthetic value of that element. And you will notice something, it is that the aesthetic value is just a certain aspect. Very often we will refrain from doing things because we think that they don't match, for instance, the aesthetic value of, of what's, what it's supposed to be looking like. You know, it's not fashionable or it doesn't look like something that other people can comprehend. And this is a very tricky thing, for instance, when I write, you know, my mantras and my calligraphies, sometimes I'm not trying to make them look pretty. It's just fire coming through and so I'm going to, you know, activate that and create like this gateway of energy and it doesn't necessarily have to look pretty. You know, think about this, uh, this guy in the subway with a headset and singing. Everybody's getting like a little bit like funny and laughing because it looks, it looks funny. But the thing is that on an aesthetical level, you know, it can look weird because our aesthetic conditioning has been designed and programmed to see things through a certain eye and it has to match a certain, certain conditioning. But the thing is that that guy in the subway with his headset is having the time of his life. He's having a profound experience, just And you listen to it and you go like, wow, this, this is not pretty according to the standards, the traditional standards. But what's, it, what's interesting is that it does work. He's having or she's having a profound experience. So when you look at my temple, it's a little bit the same because there are lots of things that I do that are not necessarily uh, pretty, you know, <laughs> but they are, they are fire. They're an expression of fire. The actual energetic or um, uh, fiery transmission is actually working and it's anchoring itself. And uh, it's the same, for instance, when you uh, go into devotional singing, you know, and you go like, wow, I cannot sing because I, you know, I sound strange when I'm singing. I, I don't know how to sing. That's completely not true. You know how to sing. It might not look aesthetically or be perceived in a way that uh, other people can recognize or see, but the transmission and the energetic activation of what's happening in your system is real. So don't hesitate, you know. Of course, if you're in public places and then you start annoying everybody, maybe be a little bit aware of that. But what's important to understand is that the actual um, experience is going to be a real experience. The spirit comes in when you sing. It's the same. The spirit comes in when you write a mantra or when you write a certain thing. Whether people, um, you know, uh, see it that way or not. It is an experience. It is an embodiment or, of an experience. And it is the same when um, <clears throat> when you take, for instance, a yoga pose, right? And uh, you, you might be a beginner in yoga. And then you take this, this asana and somebody looks at it and they go like, wow, it doesn't necessarily look pretty. Yet. It doesn't necessarily look like some, some masterful piece of yoga asana. But the thing is that the experience that you will have is a real powerful experience. It's fantastic. 
It wakes up, you know, a flow of energy and mystical fire inside of you. And so it is powerful. It is something to cherish. And uh, the idea that it, it doesn't look necessarily in a certain way, it doesn't match the traditional uh, frames of aesthetic value doesn't mean that the experience is not real. Okay? So here we go. A few things to remember about, about this video and what I'm saying right now. The first thing it is that you can consciously bring in fire in your system. Color red works really well. Activate your temple in ways that are going to reflect the qualities that you want to have in your life. And in that case, I'm writing lots of mantras and lots of codes all over my walls and on my body. You know, very often I'm writing here the qualities that I want to have for the day. So those are, you know, some, some of the core elements of this. And uh, another core element is that don't necessarily look at the aesthetic value of what you're creating. Look at the experience, at the profound experience of what's happening in your system. And uh, you will notice that when you do that, you, you remove the idea that it has to look a certain way. It doesn't have to look pretty unless you want to communicate with somebody, unless you want this to be a performance for somebody. And yes, then you go like, okay, it has to look in a certain way. It has to match the aesthetical value of the frames that society has designed. But so what I'm encouraging you to do is discover the experience, discover the pleasure, the mystical experience of that exact moment. You know, tune in, go inside, go internally, and you go like, ah, how does that feel? How does that mystical experience feel? So when you write a calligraphy on the wall, or you express something, or you voice, you stand singing, Jaya, 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 you know, it's like, if sometimes it's not going to look pretty according to these aesthetical values, but the experience will be real. Okay, I don't know what's, what's your plan for today, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to go and cut some coconuts, make myself some delicious breakfast, and... Um, yeah, thank you for sharing this moment, for joining me in this morning activation. Play with your fire, play with fire. And uh, if you have any questions or want to reach out, you need uh, advice or ideas on what's going on in your life right now, feel free to get in touch. I am Shiva Rajaya, and uh, I'll see you soon. I love you.